Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're taking a look at our overhead cabinet system for the 148 high roof Ford Transit. So you might be wondering why you would want a set of hard side cabinets like the ones behind me. The main reason we want to offer these cabinets to you is we want a permanent way to safely store gear for all of our adventures inside the van. When we set out to design these cabinets, we wanted something that assembles really easy and can bolt into the superstructure of the van so it's nice and safe for all of your travels. We wanted to make sure all of our systems are integrated into the cabinets. So we have USB chargers, we got a control panel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we wanted to make sure we had a professional fit and finish for you, the DIYer at home. So these cabinets are designed to perfectly fit into your Ford Transit high roof van, and they do that really easily. So all you have to do is assemble them at home and bolt them right in. You can customize them to whatever your desired look is. The cabinets we have here are in a white laminate finish, but you can do whatever kind of laminate you want. If you're curious about that, take a look at that video. So the way we design these cabinets is to fit any queen size bed here in the back of the van and give us a little bit more sleeping space while still offering storage above our bed. Now we used to make full height cabinets and we found that we just didn't use that much storage back here. And so we split the cabinet into two heights. We have a shorter cabinet in the back and this is 72 inches long, so it'll fit a queen size bed to the back doors. And then our taller cabinet up here gives us maximum storage at the front. We designed this cabinet so that it does fit around this queen size bed. So if this bed moves up and into place, we'll notice that it nests nicely into this space. And this is really great if you have our bed system, but if you even just have any other bed system in your van, it's gonna give you more space underneath the bed and make you more comfortable while you're sleeping. So the cabinet system features three individual cabinets that all get bolted together before we install them here in the van. All of the cabinets have self-lifting doors that are really easy, uh, no gas struts to uh, alter or mess with, anything like that. It just always works. They also have these nice positive latches here that are gonna keep all of our gear nice and safely inside. They're not gonna bust open on us. And each one of these cabinets inside has a little spot for a USB or a 12 volt charger, whatever you desire. We also have a dedicated space for a control panel. And we feel like this is a really important central location to our build gives us a spot for all of our light switches here in the van. It gives us a spot for our banner battery management system. So we can just kind of monitor all of our systems. This one's going to have a heater in the future. So it's also a place we install our S bar heater control. The panel is not included, but it does give you a spot to centralize all of your personal controls for your van. So let's talk about some of the dimensions of this overhead cabinet system. Overall, the entire cabinet assembled is 113 and a half inches long and 15 and a quarter inches deep. Now that 15 and a quarter does account for the half inch door here. So the permanent cabinet behind is 14 and three quarters. The front portion of this cabinet is 18 and a half inches tall and 41 inches wide. And that gives us enough room to sit down here in a passenger seat. And me at 510, I still have plenty of room here and I don't feel claustrophobic at all. On the inside of this cabinet, we have 39 and a half inches of interior space. We are 12 inches from the back plate to the front edge of the cabinet. And it is 15 and a half inches tall inside. Uh, the opening here is 11 inches tall, so keep that in mind when you're planning on what gear you're going to put inside this cabinet. Now, the two overhead cabinets in the back are pretty darn similar. Uh, the overall from the back here to the very back of the cabinet is 72 inches long, and each cabinet on the inside has a, a little over 30 inches of storage space inside. Uh, the depth inside is still 12 inches deep, and they are 11 and a half inches tall with an 8 and a half inch opening here for putting gear inside that cabinet. Now, both of them do have that USB or 12 volt, so you can charge up all of your goodies inside those cabinets over your bed. So that's it for the overview of our overhead cabinets in this Ford Transit 148 high roof. If you want some more details about these cabinets, check out the rest of the video series in the links below. We have how to assemble these cabinets, how to finish them, and how to install them to make it easy for you. If you have any additional questions about these cabinets, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.